Origins. We're essentially starting. Um, and people may notice uh, some fun things such as our our new follower goal. Um, and this is because uh, we just found out how to use goal stuff. So, <laughs> I mean, there's no reason for it. Um, yeah, and as you can see, we've got our new uniforms. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I haven't... I don't know if I've posted as much as I think I did. I'm going to fix the new little chat for now. Uh, where's Ichiro's horns? I mean, it's been a few days. Are we all good to go? He's, he what? Got hungry. He eated them. Would he... I guess I could decide this, him. but whether or not he grows the horns back if he then eats them. It's just a perpetual... I mean, I guess... I guess if he keeps eating them, they'll eventually, like, be too small. <laughs> Some people haven't seen the, the gym uniforms, and they're very excited. <laughs> he can make bone broth. I call it Hilk Horn Milk. Horn milk? <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, alright. Are you guys good? You good? Yes, sir. Yeah, I... Yeah. Oh. Alright, so it's been... You guys, uh, to reiterate, because we've talked, we just talked about this uh, before we started, but everything that happened with Momo Yaoyorozu happened on, I believe, Sunday. It is now Friday. That same Monday, uh, you guys just had absolutely zero time to recover from the night before. Uh, I believe it was the Tuesday of that you guys had your little boating escapade. Uh, and the entire time we've been training your quirks to prepare you for the festival. Oh, we have another first time viewer. <laughs> I love the amount of people that come in here and the first thing they say in our chat is something to the accord of nectar. <laughs> like, I can never tell. How many viewers even know about this? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, who knows? There have been uh, several months in between the last time we played uh, a volume episode versus, like, the movie and such. We spread the, <laughs> we spread the word of Nectar. Uh, so tell me. What did you train? Uh, well, I guess what did you train is a, a lot less specific but how was training did you do good did you exhaust yourself who did you train with uh and how is your outlook for friday morning of the u.s or u.s i keep wanting to say usj the ua sports festival uh i'll start with ichiro because none of you are speaking up <laughs> Spent most of it doing combat training with Sukara. Okay. That's pretty good. He's probably ready for today, too. Is he? Is Ichiro confident? Sorry, did you say competent? <laughs> no, I know the answer to that one. Is Ichiro confident? Oh, I mean, no more so than usual. Uh, blissful ignorance. Basically. Alright. Kosuke? Uh... Yeah, uh, I'd say he definitely spent a lot of time training with Ryunosuke, because Ryunosuke. <laughs> <laughs> what, wouldn't leave him alone? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'd say that's accurate. Alright. Uh, 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 yeah, I, I was just going to say focused a lot on, uh, like, speed and, uh, uh, like, quirk. Endurance. Mm -hmm. All right. Is he confident? Yeah, I'd say he's a little cocky. Oh yeah. Afro Afro kid. <laughs> Been waiting to sub. Or sub follow. But thank you. Uh, yeah, you guys. Oh, well, actually, you're in the wrong room. There we go. Uh, sorry. He's confident. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. 
All right, Homura. Uh, I want to say I hung out with Shinso mostly, but mm -hmm. also spent some time with Sukara, mostly for Herc. <laughs> Trying to be with him. Yeah, spent some <clears> last <throat> time with my buddy. Yeah, I will say, yeah, Ichiro uh, coming in training with Sukara, definitely like all three of you near the same time were able to hang out and, and get some solid work in. <laughs> it was definitely tough training with Shinso because you'd go out on these very like expansive and long running training sessions with your full class and then you'd come home uh, and then train with Shinso because he couldn't train with your class. Yeah. So Homer has yeah. put some work in. Uh, but I, I did forget I did forget to say uh, oh, yeah. I wanted to uh... Right, I was training with Elias as well. Oh, okay. Like, at some point. Probably not at the same time. <laughs> yeah, <Ryunosuke>. after... <laughs> yeah, I will say, Ryunosuke was evidently, like, very jealous anytime you would train with Elias, but he never, like, spoke up or said anything. Uh, but training with Elias worked pretty well. Uh, it gave you a good idea of uh, some of your faults and in, in some of your very clear openings that you guys have kind of cleared up and, and worked past uh, and as the the week carried on you guys found yourself becoming more and more exhausted uh, and a lot less like ready for the training sessions mornings following um, are you so so the UA sports festival is televised all over the country it's kind of like the Super Bowl for high schoolers um, without a doubt whether you wanted to or not, if your family knows that you're at UA, they know that you're participating. Uh, has anyone specifically reached out to their family? Has anyone heard from their family, or does anyone expect their family not to go? Uh, Homer's sister called her a couple days before, maybe, and said that her and her parents will be attending. How'd she feel about that? Like, kind of scared. <laughs> Worried. <laughs> That's... Yeah, I get like a whole another layer of like pressure. <laughs> yeah, now it's now full like Oh fuck, it doesn't matter if like six thousand other people are watching. Now I have to worry about my parents being here. Uh yeah. Boys? My entire family will be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you, did you call, did they call, or do you just feel it? I called. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, all 22 of them are going to be there, including the other two of your parents. They, I, I, I think you know regardless if you had not said anything, they would have showed up. Um, so, sadly, no cousins. Uh, they just couldn't pack enough people to, to do it. Uh, they, they literally had to like rent a bus to get up to Tokyo to get to UA. Uh, and <laughs> has a bus, um, but it only fits twenty four people, not twenty six. Yeah, it, so it just wasn't gonna work out. Yeah, unfortunately, maybe next time. So, uh, <laughs> were they planning on having exactly twenty two children? No, I'm sure post like sixteen, they were like, hmm, getting another car would be kind of cumbersome. Probably should just <laughs> plan. <laughs> Is the bus customized? Of course. Uh, it's got like flames on it. <laughs> or I was gonna say, is it like, is it like a an ad for your family's uh, like goods? Like what? <laughs> what's what's the bus look like? Uh, well, it's a makeshift. Uh, well, so it's a transport vehicle second, and a <laughs> mobile farm stand first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The sides come down and like you sell hot uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, everybody keeps their uniforms in there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, Kosuke. Yeah, Kosuke had a visit from his brother. No, oh, yeah, his guy's brother showed up to the dorm. Kiyoshi. Yes. Mm. Did he come in? What? How did it go down? Uh, uh, no, I'd say, uh, we met out in a fucking, 
what's it called? A quad? Yeah, like the outside on on campus, but not at your dorm. Oh yeah, and he just uh he handed over uh a box mm. and said that it was from dad. And uh dear old father s said that uh said that the letter on top was from him. Oh, from and Kyoshi. Then, uh, the the letter was from Kyoshi or the letter was from his father. From 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 Daddy Dearest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Literally at the exact same time this message popped up. Daddy dearest. <laughs> um uh yeah, I I'd, I'd say that there was probably I'd say there's probably an awkward an awkward hour things. Mm. And then and then and a quick departure. But it was a very awkward like oh, I'll I'll see you. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'll, I uh I I love here. you. I'll talk to you later. What? what you <laughs> I literally never said that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, very awkward leave. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, so we're here. Father dearest. <laughs> Father dearest. Uh, the days have uh come to an end. Um, clean night. Sent you guys off today a little bit earlier, which doesn't really like make up anything because he got you up earlier than normal today uh his reasoning obviously because he wanted you to get a good night's rest before one of the most strenuous days of your early high school careers uh and with that you were sent back to the dorms closer to like six maybe seven in the afternoon um as opposed to the usual like nine to ten that you would be getting back um with this you guys have Basically the night to relax as best you can before an early uh, bed and early rising. Um, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you go straight to bed. Ichiro hops. You can hear the thump and the ground shakes as Ichiro's frame hits the like ground bouncing. Um, and I say I picked up food for Katamari sometime. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Shinso would also do it if you would. I, if if you were getting low, as a show of good faith, he would take care of Katamari while you guys were out training. Um, so he he's got food left over for you. What a good dude. You guys are are besties. Definitely, definitely, uh, BFFs on Snapchat. Um, but yeah, yeah. Do you just let Katamari feast? Oh, people are, yes. are thinking that this is a donation bar. This is not a donation bar. This is a follower's goal. Uh, if we ever have a donation bar, you guys will hear about it long before you see it. Um, but yeah, Homer, you crack open a, a nice wet can of fresh tuna, place it in his bowl, and you can hear like the like sound of l almost lip smacking as he's tearing through his small bowl. <laughs> A horse thumping in the distance. <laughs> as he hears the can open. <laughs> nice soft paws slapping wood. I guess marble. I don't know my linoleum tiling of your kitchen. Uh, yeah. It, he's. You can just hear him munching. He. He's. His tail keeps swaying back and forth and like just lightly caressing your mouth. Uh, like nearly getting cat hair from his tail into your mouth, but you keep, like, lightly brushing it away as it sways back and forth. <laughs> well, I'll feel silly now. No. I mean, the donation goal... Or it's not a donation goal. The follower goal is really just to gauge if you guys enjoy having goals set. Uh, but Kosuke, what, have you, what is right. your uh, winding down going to be? Yeah, I was just gonna say that he, uh, I'd say he came in and, uh, Put something on the TV and then uh, very quickly fell asleep on the couch <laughs> in in like upright, in an upright position, just head back. Yeah, like, yeah, like wasn't planning on falling asleep at all. Yeah, mouth open. It happened almost instantly. <laughs> Trying to imagine like uh, what he put on, uh, but I'll just <laughs> what <laughs> Family Guy compilation, baby stim videos. It's just like, you can hear in the distance, 
uh, just uh, a clip compilation. Uh. <laughs> He's just watching a Germa compilation. All right. So yeah, uh, Homer, <laughs> Homer turns around. Uh, Ichiro, door open, like bed halfway off the bed, asleep. Kosuke, mouth a a jar, <laughs> like, passed out on the couch. Like that, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, might have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those TikToks with Family Guy at the bottom, or Family Guy on the top, and Subway Surfer on the bottom. I'm gonna keep uh, people watching our streams. <laughs> All right. The day turns tonight. I'm assuming at some point Homer just clocks out. Uh, yeah. Katamari like climbs up onto the the couch and lays across Kosuke's face, uh, causing him to promptly at some point in the night wake up and return to his bed. Uh, and you guys awaken the next morning. Pretty early. Six o'clock. Uh, what is this werewolf dialogue? <laughs> you all awaken. The werewolf gets up. Uh, no, it's it's early in the morning uh, when you guys get your first dose of, in a while, uh, the most aggravating sound you could ever receive from a deep slumber, which is... Ichiro's alarm. This is the best way I could possibly wake up. <laughs> How so? Well, to me, it's like being woken up by the sound of the ocean. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did, did you have a rooster on your farm? Three. Oh. And they are trained to uh, work synchronously. <laughs> Harmonize? Acapella. <laughs> you teach them music. It's something of beauty. I couldn't even bear to describe it to you. <laughs> I love it. Um, so obviously each row is the first up. Uh, you guys, well, I I mean you didn't have them on exactly now, but uh, when you get up and check outside your door, you'll see that there are three uniforms delivered in your guys' tailored sizes. Um. <laughs> Jonathan Nine says, "Damn, I'm late. We just started, so you grab the box, take it inside, throw on your uniform. It's exciting. And for note, for those watching, uh, in the UA Sports Festival, UA Sports gym uniforms reduce half of all damage only during this event." Um, Kosuke Homura, who's the second one up? Me. Yeah. yeah, this seems to be the... the uh, no, I was going to say this seems to be the typical order, but I'd say Homer is usually like the deeper easy. sleeper. Yeah. Is it, whether it's out of anxiety or excitement, regardless, she steps outside, finds her uniform, throws it on. How are you guys feeling in these? Is it exciting? Do you feel more official? Is it... Yeah. I, uh, I feel I really exciting. I put it on, and I'm just like... I'm just standing there, uh, flexing everything. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it's not skin tight, thankfully, so it just, like, jostles around as you throw yourself into different, uh, positions of flexing. Um, you know you have to get to class early, but you've still got, like, a fair few minutes before. Is anyone too anxious to eat or starving? Definitely hungry. <laughs> Alright. Eating. Well, you guys... Eating. If you guys had one item that you would have picked up before the sports festival, uh, during your, your few days, what would it be? And what would you be eating this morning if you could? Like, any like fa a, favorite like foods? breakfast burrito. <laughs> All right. Well, thankfully you have some. I think. Yeah. Eggs. 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 Blueberry pancakes. All right. 
uh, reducing some of your stuff from inside your fridge. Um, and with the loving help of a certain grocery lady cheering you guys on, you guys have probably one of the larger breakfasts that you've had this semester. There's six eggs that get cooked up. Uh, there's some bacon that was thrown in. Blueberry pancakes, which you don't know where the blueberries came from, but pretty sure the pancake mix was a gift. Um, uh, Ichiro has a sly smirk, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and I would I would imagine I would imagine each row picked up some different types of jerky, <laughs> possibly. Um, Hopefully, if he's smart. If he was smart enough. You know, <laughs> you know what, uh, Ichiro, I'm gonna ask you to do something for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to. There, there it is. Can you give me a? Check with just your intelligence. It's a bit rude, don't you think? No, I think I'm in my right. I'm well within my rights. Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> Each you are allowed to bring jerky, people ask. Technically, if he eats it before, I don't know if he'll be allowed to take it in, but if he eats it before. <laughs> He's got like a belt of jerky. I fear for students. Eight? Yes, you you did. You actually, you know what? After after one of the larger training sessions, Homer uh, and Kosuke were like stopping by to get a fucking Gatorade or something, uh, whatever they their whatever their rehydration drink of choice is. Uh, he, uh, like, out of the corner of his eye, spotted like a a small spinning, rotating like tower of jerkies. Uh, and just, like, piled them into his small hand basket. Um, so we've got six Canadian moose jerky. Uh, we've got, uh, like, beef jerky. Uh, there was no venison, oddly enough. Uh, and then, what is your other? Oh, goat meat jerky, yeah. <clears throat> so he's got six of each, roughly. Which one is he, uh, is he grabbing a bite of first? Hold on, please. Huh? Uh, hold on. One okay. <laughs> yeah, while, well, yeah, Homer Kosuke, you guys have your big spreads. Ichiro's got, like, a full plate. Some real Ghibli level, like, food quality. Uh, is anyone, anyone holding back, or is this fucking table cleaned by the time that they're done? Can't afford nah, to just, hold back today. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> destroying this burrito. <laughs> okay. Someone said that each row is slightly quiet. I can turn him up. Let me see. I cannot turn him up. <laughs> he can turn himself up, though. How's this? Mo moderately better, I hope. I just see each room. I ain't room. asking you. Fair enough. <clears throat> what about Dried Horned Beetle? Uh, he was hanging out with Sukara this week. I'm sure that Sukara would not have been okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of... Because I feel like I'm missing one on all of these lists. Uh, and I thought that there was some animal specifically dedicated to going fast and running. and I, that It was a deer. Cool. Is it a deer? Yeah, it was a deer. Your deer form. Okay. I don't have any information about that, but, uh... Oh, that, oh shit. I'll, I'll grab get some it. venison. Alright, I'll get that to you. I don't know why you don't. Uh, venison? You don't have venison, so what you eat? Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't have venison. I don't, I, did you say you were eating that? No, I mean, what? that's what deer is. I know. You don't have it. I'm saying you... <laughs> What what do you plan to eat before the sports festival? Venison. You do not have venison. I would like to get that. You can't. I just told you your options. Oh. <laughs> I said I told you while you were buying it. They were out of venison, so he didn't pack on, but he got the six others. Sorry, I wasn't listening. That's okay. <laughs> I need to get... So can someone get me a clip of... Uh, Subway surfers, so I can 
<laughs> get this moving. <laughs> uh, all right. So what other what other horns do you want? Just uh, just uh, give me some of the beef jerky. Why don't you? All right. Bull horns. Yeah. Beef turkey. Nope. <laughs> He's got it. Uh, you feel the horns grow out of your head, and they feel firmer uh. and stronger. <laughs> uh, they definitely feel firmer and stronger. Like, you could really take fucking walls down with these things. Like you could gore a person? I My mean... initial thought. <laughs> intrusive eat your thoughts? I could gore a person. Alright. You guys finish up your breakfast... Uh, and as you're, like, going onto your phones to check social medias, you can see every single news site, every single social media broadcast, everything is uh, focused on um, this right now. Uh, you go on whatever our version of Twitter is, and it's, like, trending, and uh, it's got, like, the big article uh, right on the, the featured trending page. Um you turn on the TV, all the news stations are discussing, uh, like, theories and have, like, some students that they've interviewed or, or some people have insider knowledge of certain students. Like, as you've actually heard, Endeavor's son is going to be a part of this one. Uh, so people, are have, people have high hopes for him. Um, is there, you guys want to watch? Maybe see, get, a, get an idea of who you're up against? Yeah. Smart <clears throat> idea. Yeah. All right. You, you throw it onto the TV, you all move some of the breakfast over to the couch, and as you're eating, uh, you can you guys give me some work education checks? I take out my glasses. <laughs> okay, you pull out these uh, very old glasses that have like the curled edges at the end that you can like tie up and have hanging from your neck. Yeah, have, like, little jewels on the ends connecting them. Yeah. What'd you say, Homer? General ed? No. Quirk education. Nine. Nine. Six. <laughs> okay. Dude, the burrito, you were just so focused on eating the burrito. <laughs> it, like, started to fall apart yeah, halfway dude. through. Homer was paying attention, dude, though. Yeah, it started to shit out the back of it. As Kosuke... <laughs> <laughs> As Kosuke, as Kosuke uh, like, begins biting into this thing, it, like, almost explodes over his plate, and he runs into the kitchen, and you guys hear, Todoroki Shoto is expected to take home at least silver to gold place. Uh, with his quirk, half cold, half hot, he's able to control fire and ice, along with certain competitors, such as, and they go on to list, uh, Ichiro, you kind of, like, zone out a little bit as it's talking and you're watching the displays of uh, Todoroki's quirk from like inside like snapchats from certain people in his class posting uh, and uh, then you see certain other people uh, there's high expectations for um, a lot of the hero course students including Yaoi Rozumomo, Tenya Ida, oh, what's up? Okay. I was gonna say that Yaoyorozu Momo, Momo and Tenya Ida are two other discussed people. They're more so in uh, relative terms discussed, where uh, Ida has a long line of family heroes, so he's expected to do well. Um, he has a quirk that allows him to run really fast because he has engines in his legs. Uh, along with that, Momo Yaoyorozu gets discussed with her ability to create anything using the bat stored in her body. Um, so phew. she's going to be here? She is! Yeah, you can see that Surprise. she looks a little, like, unhealthy. Uh, like, as if, like, something recently... Almost like as if she had gotten sick before the videos were on her. Um, she They discussed how she had suffered an injury earlier in the week. Uh, but with, uh, like, careful consideration, she has chosen to par participate. Um, then there is a, like, sliding... Uh, view of uh, people from Hero Course Class 1B and 1A. Um, very few. There's, you know, Kaminari, Tokoyami. You don't really, like, you can see little descriptions of their quirk, but it's hard to read as it's scrolling by so fast. Like, Itsuki Kendo. Yeah. Uh, 
and uh, but like Monoma Naito. Very few to name. Uh, but other than that, it then goes on to discuss like the race and how the racetrack is set up, uh, or like secretly been set up for the past few nights, uh, and how like long it looks and etc. It's just really like getting your blood pumping. My blood is pumping. <laughs> Kosuke, you come back to see, uh, like the... My blood pumping. No. <laughs> you come back to see that the informational, uh, about the students has already kind of passed, but you've finished your, your food. Everyone yeah, is... Yeah, I, I come back with a fork. <laughs> it's now just, like, on the plate spread out. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm you... unhappy about the burrito, and unhappy that I missed it. <laughs> Nothing went well. Uh, yeah, uh, it's about time to head back out. Go on over to class. You guys ready? Yeah, you began a choice. Yeah, you guys strolling into class. Or, yeah, strolling into class, you guys. Uh, like, step inside, and the energy is all off. You can tell some people are excited. Some people are, like, fucking terrified <laughs> some people are hopeful some people uh are just kind of like dismissing it um the clean knight is obviously like beaming with excitement he's not allowed to like do much but uh like he's still happy for you guys um yeah you can get see like tsuyoshi elias rory hitori all talking pretty confidently and pretty hopeful for their placement um Sosuke, Kyo, EI just don't really care. Like, haven't really paid much. It's, it's almost like it's another day of training for them. Uh, Sutiko, Alina, Ryunosuke, and Sukara are, like, very clearly nervous, so they show it in different ways uh, and are all, like, vehement about being scared of their placement or unsure that they'll place at all. Um, yeah, uh, you guys take your seats. Do you guys want to talk to anyone before you get going? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, mean, I don't know. Are people going to be willing to talk about like their training if we're about to all fight? It's, I mean, it's person to person. You don't have to necessarily consider it fighting each other. Much more so is like, like if you were playing fucking Fall Guys, would you be like, oh god, uh, this guy's. I can't tell this guy my strategy. <laughs> it's it's a rush. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna sit there quietly and, like, eyeball everybody. <laughs> uh, Elias turns back to you, Kosuke. Very clearly, like, awaiting to hear what you've got in store, how you're feeling about it. Uh, and is, like, uh, pretty nonchalant, being like, you ready for today? Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty ready. <sighs> How long do you think you'll last? Probably till the one on ones. Yeah, I'm sure you will, man. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll see you there, because that's where I'm shooting for. And he holds out his hand uh, in like a high five slash dab. Uh, I, I was imagining the... Uh... Fuck, what is it? Oh, it's a fucking Dr. Stone is what I'm thinking of. <laughs> like, <laughs> wrists. <laughs> yeah, they like high five really weirdly. Yeah, they kind of, they like bump fists, but with like the back of their wrist bone. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you at the finals. <laughs> <laughs> they, you guys do that really awkwardly, like intentionally cringy. Uh, <laughs> but freeze frame in real life. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, you guys like literally like Elias like freezes both or like your uh. Oh my god, yeah, he can do that. <laughs> he freezes. He like forces you to freeze frame with him because when he high fives or whatever the fuck, he freezes your uniform in place. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean you guys are pretty confident. He begins just talking to you about like who he thinks is gonna be a threat from our class and realistically like how far he starts pointing to other people being like how far do you think they're gonna get uh and the conversation continues um <laughs> homura ichiro ta looking at anyone Resisting talking the vibes of everyone every the vibes are whack if you want to like Elias there yes 
Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you just took off your headphones while we were hanging out. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was putting on a sweatshirt. Okay. Sorry, I'm very crazy. Can we get Ichiro wearing a hoodie, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't make requests like that. Uh, you've already got your UA uniform. That's Can I good enough. Over no. It, or would it look weird? <laughs> I mean, t technically there are winter versions, right? Can we yeah. get UA winter coats? In the middle of, like, summer. Or I guess, I don't know when this would be. Can we do the second movie on, like, a winter resort somewhere? Sure. <laughs> already planning a second movie. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, lean over towards Elias and, uh -huh. like, you know, like, put my hand to the side of my mouth, whisper. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we just can't hear you. <laughs> no, uh, I, I want to ask him, I guess... Does he have, like, is he keeping his eye on anybody? I feel like I can ask him. I mean, yeah. Have you seen some of the Class 1A kids? No, I I honestly don't know anybody outside of this class. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, no. I, at least for the first section, I'd keep your eye on Tenya Ida. And I guess Shoto Todoroki, but that's kind of every... Round, from what I'm assuming. He looks at Kosuke like very weirdly. <laughs> like, is your friend okay? Kosuke uh, looks like that uh, that like Wojak that's all like scribbled black. <laughs> yeah, remembering something we never wanted to remember. Yeah. <laughs> that's the end of that bit. What uh, who's the mac and cheese guy? Todoroki, you don't to worry about it, just stop uh, I might by be, talking I about might it. Be forgetting. I might be thinking about the wrong guy. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I don't know their quirks, but are they strong? Yeah, as strong as I'd fucking ever seen. I mean, sure, I'm, like, Akihiko could maybe take one of them if he was pissed off enough, but... I'm not really yeah, confident most of the... <laughs> I'm not confident that most of us would be able to handle a one-on-one -on -one with them. Let's just say I'm hoping I don't end up with one of them as a 1v1 partner. Uh, you, Tomura, you, um, you feel like you're being directed to, like, like yelled at? Someone's trying to talk to you, but you kind of, like, can't figure out why that feels, like, as if you've heard your name, but coming from a direction that you can't discern. Uh, I start looking around. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check. <laughs> Ooh, 14. Uh, you turn to your left and see Nanashi is trying to say something to you. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey. So, like I asked, what's your plan? <laughs> like, as if she's, she talks to you as if you were like, <laughs> you asked what when somebody told you something, as if you've been having a conversation. A plan for what? You know, the UA Sports Festival, like we've been talking about. <laughs> I imagine you're just giving her the most like blank expression. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna do my best. Well, at least that's some sort of plan. Uh, very clearly like wants to continue talking, but has run out of small talk. Um. Well, I. Uh, good luck. And, like, gives Homer a thumbs up. You too. I I give her a th <laughs> thumbs up. She smiles. Uh, you can, p looking past her, you can see Ryunosuke very clearly, like, trying to see what Kosuke and Elias are talking about. Like, not even apologetically. 
almost eavesdropping, but like clearly too far and it's too loud in the room. <laughs> um, and as this kind of comes to a close, you hear Clean Knight like finally close up some of his books uh, and pack his bag. Uh, and he places his hand on the podium in front of the class and goes, All right. Can I have everyone's? And like nobody is paying attention. He, it, it goes so much louder as he starts talking that you can't even hear him finish his sentence uh, when he like takes the last book uh, and slams it closed in the front of the room where some people start to take notice and quiet down. Tsuyoshi evidently has been waiting this entire time for him to say something. Uh, and <sighs> he stands up and is like looking at his uh, watch and goes, Oh, we no, we don't have time for this. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta get to the bus. Come on, come on, come on. And he starts lining everyone out the door. Uh, you guys are filed out into the far back. Wait, who's the line leader? Tsuyoshi. Can I be the line leader? Uh, I, don't know. I mean, <laughs> you stand in front of Tsuyoshi and he just moves to in being in front of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, everyone takes their lineup, uh, and proceeds. Uh, as soon as there's a dispersal of order, Ryunosuke immediately latches on to the back of Kosuke, and Elias and Kosuke continue their conversation. Um, Tsukara joins Homura and, uh, uh, Ichiro with Rory and Akihiko, and they start asking you guys questions, being like, Oh man, I hope I make it to the 1v1s! Oh, my mom and dad are coming, but I don't think my sister is really going to come by. She has some big project due on uh, Monday, so she said she couldn't make it, but I'm still excited. They said I'd tell her how I did. What about you? Oh, yeah, my family's coming. Oh, you, you must be excited. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Mm. What about you, Ichiro? Oh, just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> that sentence kind of like puts everyone else at like a weird, like what? <laughs> 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 um, but nobody like inquires further. <laughs> uh, you guys pile out onto a somewhat like nice bus. Uh, it's, you remember in high school when you guys would go on field trips? And they'd get, like, the nicer buses to take you on the longer trips. They only did that once. Well, yeah, for me, too. Yeah, well, okay. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you hop on. The bus begins driving to the UA Sports Festival Stadium. Uh, Rory's asking Ichiro if he's uh, ready for some serious sumo matches in the 1v1. Or any of the other... Uh, what Like, whatever may lie ahead. As long as they are tests of strength, she's pretty confident she'll break through. I hope there's no tests of math. No, I, I can't imagine there would be, but let's pray for us both that you don't ever have to fucking solve an equation during this. Uh, and she, like, pats you on the head. Uh, I'm swimming a little bit. <laughs> Akihiko leans over to the few of you and he's like, um, guys, I don't think my parents signed the release form for the field trip. I don't think there was one. I think it's just expected. Do you think? I didn't sign anything. Oh, thank God. Where are we going? Nobody responds to him. Uh, and in just fact... Just you wait, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love it when we get there. <laughs> uh, the... Bus driver continues on as Clean Eye finally stands up and very awkwardly like keeps shifting as the bus's suspension keeps being knocked around. It's very uncomfortable and quite honestly does not uh, really do much for his uh, gusto. But <clears throat> you have in the past five days completed some of the most intensive training I expect most of you to have ever endured. It was not fun. It was not easy. And I'm sure you're thinking it was not as rewarding as you felt it could have been. Regardless, I hope in the next few hours you will look back at your time and realize every punch you threw, every small crevice you leapt over, 
Every enemy you fell has given you a step closer to you to your goals. Keep an eye out for me and your stance. I will be cheering you on with full force. Uh, and he's got like one of those little sticks that you have a, a wheel at the end of and you spin. Uh, and it makes a, a, an almost clapping sound. Um, and then he has like a, a somewhat sizable like two hand clapper uh, stick. Uh, and then he ties a small like class 1C headband over his head. Uh, and with a kazoo in his mouth, he, he makes the little motions. Uh, <laughs> and everyone kind of, like, <laughs> goes back to talking, but there's a few students, like, uh, Tsuyoshi and Hitori, who are like, Thank you so much, sir! That means the world! Uh, regardless, the bus comes to a grinding halt, uh, as you guys reach the end, um, and finally makes it stop. You guys can hear in the distance. There's people waiting for you. Uh, very, very far off. But right now, you are going to be taking on the race. Um, as you file off the bus, you find yourselves at like the entrance to a very thin hallway. Very clearly not large enough for this entire massive crowd of students to be running through. Um, he lets you guys off and basically gestures for you to just like kind of figure out wherever the fuck you want to go. There is no uh, set starting point for anyone. So it's up to you. Where do you guys... Are you guys planning on going towards more the front, the back? Is there someone that you want to tag along with? Or do you just kind of figure it out? You gotta be in the front. Yeah? Yeah, I'd say we should... <laughs> I died. I definitely try to get as close to the front as possible. Okay, give me uh some strength checks. You gotta push your way through. Oh boy. Give me a single strength check to see if you can break through the crowd. Ooh. Well. Okay. Yeah. That's the that's the best I can do. So. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. No. You. So uh, you grab hold of the shoulders in front of you and begin wading through uh, and you find it easier with your smaller frame to slip through. Uh, Homura, Ichiro? Eleven. Oh my god, you just follow behind Kosuke. Uh, using your also delinquent strength uh, to keep people moved out of the way as you pass by. Sixteen. <laughs> you just, can. you go ahead and describe it. <laughs> I you killed through. someone. I'm just, I'm just kind of walking. I don't know. <laughs> People are moving out of the way for you. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, is everybody ready? You hear uh over the loudspeakers, somewhat in the distance, just like a present mic. Uh, I need to find where it is. But... Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the most exciting event of the year. The U.S. Sports Festival is about to begin! And, like, you hear the, the crowd in the stadium, like, exponentially explode uh, in excitement. Um, some of the kids are, like, getting sick. Uh, next to you, uh, out of just pure fear, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> Kosuke, you turn it back, see Ryunosuke, who's, like, grabbed onto the back of your shirt. Uh, like, looking almost sickly. Um, the rest you of your- You sp got a speedy game, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> he starts try heaving um uh, <laughs> uh it, do you guys hedgehog. <laughs> what um i heard he was attending this sports festival bionic the hedgehog <laughs> oh i heard chronic <laughs> chronic 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 the hedgehog uh 
Uh, you. Oh wow, you're trying to encourage him with some gaming, some Ichiro gaming. <laughs> Uh, he pulls out a, like, inner sleeve of discs, uh, and, or, I guess, cartridges in this scenario, uh, and he, like, holds it out to you to pick for him. Uh, he's got a, uh, Super Wario, like, m ult I don't know. I, I can't, <laughs> I feel like we have a list. Master, yeah. Super Master 9000. Um, New Super Wario Brothers. Um, there is uh, The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Um, and then finally, let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, Animal Crossing Wild World. And he asks you to pick. Sorry, say the second one again. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, just repeat all of them. <laughs> okay. New Super Mario yeah. Brothers. Yeah. Uh, Legend of Zelda. Did I say Phantom Hourglass or Phantom Spirit Hourglass, Tracks? Yeah. Okay, Phantom Hourglass. Uh, and then Animal Crossing Wild World. Okay. Uh, Phantom Hourglass. All right. Uh, and you see him just like... Like, ingest it uh, with the speed that he throws it into his mouth. Um, let's see. I have to roll for his item now. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, you guys see the giant three light stoplight? right next to the giant entrance. Uh, and it has two greens and one red. It blinks red first, and everybody in the crowd gets ready. Uh, they're getting into running positions as close as they can with the amount of like packed space that there is. The, green, the first green light illuminates. Uh, and then finally, the last green light illuminates. And you hear, before everyone begins piling out of this uh, smaller crowd and pushing towards uh, the very close, very uh, I want to say like tight knit entrance into a long hallway that does not get any wider. Uh, can you guys give me just flat speed checks? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Eight. All right. Nine. Ten. Eight, oh, nine, and ten. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <for flat speed. laughs> Eight, nine, and ten. Uh, so you are now in that order. So who got ten? Michiro. Really? You're the fastest. Yeah, yeah it's been a bad way. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ichiro, g go ahead and describe how you break out into the, the top five immediately. Um, so, I'm not focused on running at the start. I'm mm -hmm. focused on just being in first, right? Sure. So, I, uh, I lean forward, and as hard as I can, I just jump forward. Okay. Uh, you... You get a go or like a running start with everyone and you just leap. Uh, now, as you're coming down, you start to realize that you're going to land on people. How is it that you circumvent hitting people? Or if you do, how do you circumvent doing damage to them? Uh, a fair warning and careful foot placement. Okay. Uh, are you jumping off of people or are you just... I don't believe they could support my weight. I don't, I don't think so either. So can you give me an acrobatics while you other two? Kosuke, Homura, you guys are neck and neck. Uh, Ryunosuke is like a fair ways behind as the crowd gets pushed out. Uh, <laughs> are you guys using your quirks at all? Or are you just flat running? 
uh, we're still in like a crowd of people, right? Yeah, it's a crowded hallway. Uh, it's a large hallway, but it's a crowded one. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting until I get out of the hallway. Yeah. All right, pushing through, pushing through. All right, Ichiro, your acrobatics 12. check. Twelve. Twelve? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, as you land closer to the front, and I mean like the front front now of this hallway, uh, you using your massive wealth of strength. Uh, and ability, grab two shoulders of somewhat sizable uh, competitors in front of you. One boy with very clearly like six arms and another that's covered in head-to-toe fur. Uh, you grab both of their shoulders and vault over the rest of the group. You are now not only in the top five, you are the fourth. You can see Shoto Todoroki in front of you, Katsuki Bakugo in front of you, Tenya Ida in front of you, and that's it. Uh, as you're going... Shoto Todoroki clearly activates some sort of quirk, and all of a sudden, the entire ground in front of you is encased in ice, and people begin slowing down before they hit this. Uh, familiar faces begin to rise up to the challenges. O Ojiro... What the fuck is his last name? Ojiro? Ojiro, yeah. Ojiro something. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks when you get forgotten. Especially... Ojiro, tail guy. <laughs> Ojiro's his last name. His first name's like Masahiro. Mashiro, yeah. Mashiro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mashiro Ojiro. Ojiro, uh, like launches himself on his tail to uh, avoid it. Ojiro Kosuke, um, and with that, people begin like maneuvering to find ways to dodge. Uh, do you plan on like skating? Like, what's what's how's he tackling this? You talking to me? Correct. Well, there's no way I'm avoiding it. Uh-huh. Can I charge and slide over it? You can give me a... <clears throat> hmm. Well, like, here. I was thinking of just using my bull form charge ability to get a burst of speed. Uh-huh. And, then, like... Just I, penguin I slide? Plank and then slide <laughs> you know, over the ice. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, can you give me. Uh... <laughs> I just want to build up as much. Okay, give me, a, give me an athletics check. Give me an athletics check. Kosuke, Homura, uh, you are well within like the top 50 students, um, but there's a sizable amount of people in front of and behind you. Uh, and it, it's not like you can get a beeline for the front at this point. There's multiple people. Um, do you guys want to try and break through or jump over or just can keep I, pace? Like, is there a ceiling I could attach a chain to? Uh, now that, oh, I guess you guys haven't necessarily left the, the hallway at this very second. So yes, you still have a little bit of hallway ceiling that you can see that's but uh it's coming up very fast can i like attach a chain to the very the edge of it and like swing in yeah front of give me a control people? check i will say the way that we're i'm i'm also maneuver keeping track of where you guys are and how you've maneuvered is not by map but i guess i can also Ten. Do this um so i have you guys have set goals that you have to get if you roll xyz if you fail it you fall behind if you uh, critical succeed, you go above uh, or move forward, and if you get, like, a moderate check, you may just not be able to move forward. Um, so you're using your chains, you're shooting them out to the edge of the doorway, or the hallway, and you're pulling yourself forward, kind of like spider man your way out. And what did you yes, get? Sir. Ten. What? Ten? Uh... Yes. You're able to just barely pull a little ahead. Um, you can see, definitely you've passed at least like 10, maybe 12 people, uh, and now you're in a free run. No, no one's like pressed up against you, but now you see there's a giant wave of ice uh, following the three to four, maybe five people in front of you. <laughs> Ichiro, can you let me know what you got for athletics? Uh, duh, 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 duh. What, what's, um, 18. 18. Homura, as you are, like, coming up to the arc of your swing, you see Ichiro 
hands at his side, dive forward, full speed, and immediately pull past Tenya Ida. It is Shoto Todoroki, uh, Katsuki Bakugo, and then Ichiro, like, sliding like a penguin forward, uh, nearly almost <laughs> passing Katsuki Bakugo. Uh, everyone in the, in the fucking stadium is going nuts over this. Uh, yeah, you definitely placed in the top, like, 40 at this point, um, but we can come to how you are going to deal with this in a second. Kosuke, you see Homura just, like, Spider-Man her way away from you, uh, and launch right out. What would you like to do? You, you're just about to pass the doorway, uh, of the hall, but there's people all around you. Uh... See, I didn't think about this, but, uh... It can't hurt if they get frozen a little for a second. <laughs> uh, and because he's starting to get frustrated with being left behind, so he... As you start activating your quirk, you feel a hand uh, on the back of you tighten. I, I, look, I look over my shoulder. Uh, you can see... Um... <laughs> uh, Ryunosuke is like holding on to you but because he's getting very overwhelmed with the amount of people that are touching him and it's kind of like overstimulating him to a point where he's becoming very clearly like uncomfortable and scared uh, and as you like almost begin to take off he grips like grips you you can see that he from his uh, cartridge has summoned a wooden shield Oh yeah, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh. Moral dilemma. I'll, I'll uh. <laughs> can I try and uh? I, I want to tell him to uh hold the shield out in front of him, and I want to I want to push him forward through the crowd. So I... <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I thought you meant like hold the shield up in front of him, facing you, and you like <laughs> charge with him on your shoulder through the crowd. No. Okay, yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, he does as he's told. He comes up. He, you like move him in front of you. He pulls the shield up in front of him, and you can hear like the sound of collision, like tink, 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 as people are like pushed back against it, and they bounce off a little bit forward. Yes. <laughs> so, and then, then as, as I see how the, like, mechanics of it work, I, like, start picking up speed. And then I, I want to say, like, as soon as I, uh, get into, like, as soon as we get cleared up a little bit, mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll take us both forward quite a bit. Okay. As, like, as I do my boost. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, you're, are you, oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep holding on to him. All right, are you picking up Ryunosuke once you yeah. get like move? Okay, <laughs> you're just making him run really fast. Um, all right, give me a control check for the first half, and then once you get out, uh, I'll say you can give me like a stamina. Or actually, let's check your sheets. Let me check your abilities. You might have no need. Uh, God damn. Um, Sorry, my first roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, so you can give me three stamina, and you won't have to roll for the second half, or we can roll for it. Uh, what would the second roll be for? Athletics. This is this is for like you now carrying, Ryunosuke. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll use some stamina. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what'd you get for control? Uh, 17. Jesus! Yeah, uh, Homura, as you're, you come to the landing, uh, you tuck and roll to, like, negate the, the force from hitting the ground, um, and you've now approached this giant wall, or sorry, floor of ice. Ichiro is, like, penguin sliding his way, he's neck and neck with the top three, uh, and then you hear the sound of, like, as... Uh, people are being knocked out of the way in the sound of, like, video game collision noises. And behind it, 
you turn back to see uh, a Ryunosuke with a shield curled up in like a ball in front of him, being carried by a Kosuke whose like legs are fucking throwing out cold fire and directing them forward. They land, I guess not land, but like stop uh, picking up as much uh, vertical height as they get just past you. Uh, and that's when Ryunosuke turns the shield down below him and begins to shield surf. Uh, with Kosuke kind of acting as the propellant. It's like a like a motorized parasail. <laughs> yeah, you look like uh, the guy from Treasure Planet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Homura and Kosuke, or I, I mean Ichiro. Homura then Ichiro. Uh, Homura, how are you doing with the ice? Ichiro, you begin slowing down, and I didn't know if you have any method to counteract uh, drag. Um, so, how much ice is there, like, in front of me? Uh, you've made it three-fourths of the way. Okay. Uh, there's no way to counteract drag, but could I, like... I mean, you kind of said it earlier, uh, Penguin. Yeah? Like, could I use my arms as flappers? <laughs> like, like, use it to push air or, like, the ground? Uh, I would, I would guess the ground. Okay. Am I strong enough to, like, <laughs> I was gonna say, my fingertips into the ice? I was literally up? gonna say you, like, grab hold of the ground, you're just, like, destroying the ice around it. That was a little quiet. Like, Ichiro's fingers hit the, the ice, and then you just hear... Uh, and it lifts up the ground, moving the ice, but giving him, like, enough, uh... like, leeway to push forward. <laughs> Speedboat! <laughs> uh... Yes, you can, but with a strength check. And if you fail it, you'll stop altogether. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to need a strength check above 10. Fourteen. <laughs> okay. It was it was just enough to keep up with the contenders. Uh, if not a little better, you've now gotten like even more immediate speed, and you throw yourself past Katsuki Bakugo. You are now in second. Um, you get to the edge of the ice, and you're able to like maneuver yourself in a way that you won't slant, like drag your fucking face across the ground. But can you? I'm gonna give you another check in a little I'm second. The only way to dismount from this is to go to like a not like a break dance pose but like a like yeah, i know like what you mean all slide is the best way to put it <laughs> this this is tough uh as we get farther down the race it is going to be harder to progress farther and it's going to be easier to get tossed back um but at this moment kosuke you've hit into the top 30 uh and as you're gliding with ryunosuke you've ripped past even farther and hit the top 20, if not 20 itself, with Ryunosuke being 19 by simple semantics. Uh, and Homura, you are still in the 40s. Uh, you're standing in front of the ice. How is it that you want to traverse this? Alright, can I, like, uh, make chain ends at the bottom of my shoes? Like, screw the shoes. I guess I'll just take them off, maybe. Yeah? Um, I'd rather just make, like, blades, and then, like, skate on the ice. Ooh, I mean, you can rip holes through your shoes if you'd like, but also, yes. Yeah, that was kind of the plan. Alright, give me a control check. Uh, and while you're taking your shoes off, uh, you hear, like, a voice a you hear a voice come up from behind you, and he goes, Oh my! If you wouldn't mind too terribly, would you hold my shoes as well? I Why is there a fifty-year-old man here? Can <laughs> you just wear his shoes? Uh, you hey, turn. Her... I'm just gonna rip holes through them. I'm not gonna bother taking my shoes off. Uh, okay. Uh, you you stop like going to remove your shoes and uh, do you ignore the voice? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, you see, as you're like getting your skates like punctured through the the shoe, you see one of your classmates like in hindsight, uh, or like like looking back. Uh, it was someone that you like knew very vaguely. Um, and and then I you. I got just... a twelve for control. Yeah, you you begin like scale like ripping across. Uh, you make a, a fair distance up. You get into the the like top twenty five. You can see Kosuke and Ryunosuke. You're beginning to match their speed on the ice. Um, and as you're doing so, you hear the sound of tap 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 uh coming up from behind you. Uh, do you want to turn and see it, or do you just not want to know? Me. Yeah, it's from behind you. I'll take a peek. Uh, you see the full like six to seven foot frame of a Velociraptor, uh, holding like in each tiny hand a pair of shoes, <laughs> uh, and a familiar Plague Doctor mask. You recognize Hitori from class, uh, and he like gives you like a small gentle wave with one of his shoes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'll give him a nod. <laughs> um. Kosuke. Yeah. You and Ryunosuke are traveling at high speeds across the ice. Um. And you can see you're kind of beginning to spin a little. Uh, the. Like, like you're turning a little bit. Like you're sliding forward, but sideways. Uh, and Ryunosuke, like, grabs hold of you and pulls you onto the shield, uh, and you guys just begin spinning. <laughs> like, crossing this giant crevasse of ice. Uh, do you want to try and counteract? Uh, yeah, I'll try and, I'll try and counterspin. Alright, give me a control check. Give me, uh, a control or acrobatics check. Ten. Ten? Uh, you're able to counteract the uh, speed of it and kind of get yourself back on track. As you slow down facing forward, um, you, Ryunosuke puts like one of their hands out and stops it so it lands just like facing forward. Um, but you've now lost like a, a small bit of speed. Uh, and you're now f you've fallen back next to Homura and Hitori as they're running forward, uh, and Hitori like looks over and he goes, "My my, that looks incredibly useful. I have got to get myself one of those." Uh, and like the sound of his raptor claws tapping and cracking the ice uh, makes uh, Ryunosuke start to like giggle. Can I? Uh, can I? The uh, rust. <laughs> uh, thr uh, um, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Ichiro, can you give me what? Can you pick a check that you would like to do, and give me a reason for why it would work for not shaving your ass off, um, hitting the rest of the dirt path where Todoroki's ice has stopped? So I think I was gonna do uh, precision because mm -hmm. my plan right now is to get into like a baseball slide and then mm -hmm. at the end of the ice jump uh and attempt to land running L like do like a long jump like an olympic long jump yeah yes uh okay so that i'll say give me so you're gonna like push yourself up from the ground to where you are in the air from being laying down yeah so give me another strength check and then along with that an acrobatics check Okay. Ichiro, yeah, currently Ichiro is in second. Uh, Bak you can hear the sound of just, like, muffled to, like, not muffled at all, yelling. Um, the sound of the crowd is kind of drowning it out, but you're sure that what he's saying behind you is just not nice. You so remember- you remember this boy. This is the boy who was bullying that weird kid. Wait, who? What? Uh, the guy behind you. I don't know. <laughs> you just paying no mind to him? I'm running. So, the strength check was a 12? Alright. Yeah, uh, you've lost a little bit of speed, and he's getting a little closer to the back, or your back, but you haven't completely been caught up to. 
and the acrobatics check was nine. <laughs> uh, you land and trip forward a little bit, like killing a good fourth of your momentum. Uh, and you watch as the kid behind you immediately, with the the sound of a rumbling explosion, passes you by easily. Uh, you've now fallen with Tenya Ida passing you into fourth, um, but no big deal. You can you can re you can regain it. You're still running pretty fast. Uh, all right, Homura. You see Ichiro and uh, the few ahead of you gathering up uh, and getting across the ice. Uh, and that <laughs> is when you hear the sound of, of intense rumbling. Like, I'm talking ground-shaking rumbling. It almost throws you uh, off of your skates. Uh, and in front of you, massive robots spring forth from the ground. Um, I'm talking like four stories high robots. Some some are smaller. That does not make them any less scary. Uh, there is three gigantic, gigantic, gigantic robots uh, laid out right one another next to each other. Uh, you can see they have a giant zero placed on their head, uh, and a few people have actually like stopped dead in their tracks and fallen on the ice. Um. First, let me get a gauge or gauge a reaction from everyone else. Uh, Ichiro Kosuke Homura, how do you feel about seeing these massive robots going headlong? You just pushing through? Yeah. Uh, damn. Okay. Minor inconvenience. They're giant red eyes all peering down at you. Homura Ichiro. I'm the fastest ball alive. <laughs> You're just Can gonna you try. Like this? Huh? I can deal with this. Ichiro is euphoric. <laughs> All right, Homura, a giant metal hand comes like lumbering down. Uh, can you give me a survival check? <laughs> yes, sir. Thirteen. All right, uh, you narrowly like dodge out of the way like l lumbering and then jumping forward uh to avoid this now cracked ice behind you um Hitori and Ryunosuke Ryunosuke is playing like the club penguin sled game essentially uh but he very narrowly avoids it on both they both go left and right while you jump forward um people behind you now slamming into the hand uh, well, how do you want to progress forward, or how do you think that you can get yourself moving faster? Yeah, I, I wanna. Like... Oh, right. Hold Wait, on. is it my Whoops. turn? It is. Uh, that was that was something from me. You can. That wasn't like your action. All right. Uh, I can I like jump onto the hand and then. You well, you jumped use, in front like, of it. Sort of uh, anchor chain ends to like climb to the top of the robot. Uh, so you jumped forward when it was coming down on you, so you're underneath oh, so it, but you can, it? yeah, you're already, you're underneath it, you're running towards it, it's, you're underneath its arm, in a, in a sense, uh, but you can still chain and, like, pull yourself onto it if you'd like. Yeah. Alright, yeah, you can repel, or I guess ascend. Uh, give me a control check. Let's hope it does well. Ten. Uh, all right. You anchor onto the underside of its one of its of one of its joints and swing yourself up using your ascension uh, momentum to like wrap around and get up onto its arm. Uh, but immediately upon getting up onto its arm, you realize you've like you have no momentum running forward, and it's now a, a vertical incline to get up its shoulder. And you've stopped for the moment, along with a few other people. You haven't decreased uh, in placement, but you also haven't moved forward at all. Oh, the plan was to, like, have anchors in both arms. In both and, arms? Like, yeah, like, one in each arm and, like, use them to climb up. Like, I'm rock climbing or something. Oh, okay. I don't know what the word is. Like, a... <laughs> I don't know. The word for rock climbing? For the, like, tools I'm envisioning. 
no, I think, I think, it, yeah, no, I, I think like anchors is the right one. Into the rock and pull yourself up. <laughs> oh, are you climbing up, are you climbing up its arm or are you climbing up its chest? How, how, where are you trying to go on this I'm thing? I'm just trying to get to the top, man. <laughs> well, currently, the most you can I'm get up to arm. is it, yeah, you can get up to it is its arm. Uh, but yeah. uh, with that, you're a lot closer to the top than to the bottom. Um, and I believe it is Kosuke's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and, uh, we're just gonna try and, what is it called, slalom through these <laughs> robot legs. You guys both uh, lean forward. Yeah, I'm gonna try and, uh, I'm, I'm boosting us as well. Alright. Uh, Let me hit this. Control check. Fourteen. Fourteen! Uh, as you both lean forward... Uh, the both ends of your palms begin spewing out a a concentrated cold fire, uh, and you begin picking up speed again. All of a also, sudden, I, I I notice uh, we've forgotten to uh, make me go cold fire. Oh yeah, I guess we have here. This is this is I'm excited. People haven't seen this yet. Uh, so yeah, do you want to describe? I guess earlier uses weren't as we could say uh, like strenuous as this one. Um, but go ahead and describe how he activates his cold fire now at full force. Sir Alec. Weird sepia flashback. Uh, you need to learn to control your, your, the, the flame. Uh, who knows who said that, but it's, uh, but it's something. Yeah. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, I guess I guess back when he first took off outside of the tunnel, mm. uh, I mean, he doesn't really activate it any differently. It's just how as it looks. It, yeah, as it appears over his face, he's got a clear, better control over the fire. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, here, actually, I can send. Uh, oh yeah, the the sprite. Yeah, I can show people this cool ass new sprite in game discussion. Um where I will send the sprite because I had to find it again. Uh alright. So you're you've boosted, you've uh, gotten much farther. The problem is now, um, you absolutely glide underneath the massive robot. And along with it, um, you now are just rolling across dirt. Uh, and you begin spinning wildly out of control. And actually just bump a rock, and both of you go flying forward. Um, Ryunosuke is thankfully able to like bounce on the shield till s he slows down. Uh, but how would you like to go about saving yourself from hitting the ground and taking a point of damage? Uh, wait, sorry, what, what was Ryanosuke doing? Uh, so, as you guys hit the edge of the ice, you bumped off of a small rock uh, and okay, went flying yeah. into the air. He thankfully grabbed his shield and was able to like land facing down on it and negate most of the fall damage. Uh, yeah, I'll try and, I'll, I'll try and like, like shoot flying from my hands downwards. Uh-huh, and kind of catch uh, yourself. Yeah, I try and slow myself down and, right. uh, at I mean, this point, I think I want to continue trying to, uh, just, like, fly close to the ground. Like, kind of, like, try and catch myself and, uh, keep going. Mm. Alright. Uh, give me a precision check to try and perfectly place those, uh, weight countering thrusts. Uh, oh, and the dice is slowly flipping. A uh, uh, 13. Right? Yes. Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah! Perfect. It's just enough to get you a little bit farther ahead. Uh, you slide... Or you... As you're flying, your hands coming down, they kind of spin you around a little bit before you find that perfect uh, mix of forward, backward, down, and up thrust. Uh, and then uh, land on your feet running. You can see Ryunosuke has equipped the shield to his back and running a little bit farther behind you. You've broken into the top 15. 
Um, Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now it is Ichiro's turn. From fourth place, uh, you see these gigantic machines in front of you. Um, some are labeled one and two, uh, and even three. Um, there is, however, just no. one in, a one one in front of you, to be specific. Uh, it is a bipedal robot with shield-like arms that begins running at you with a, a pose that expresses some form of aggression. It's got a punch lined up, and it's coming straight for you. I've never wanted to punch something more in my life. <laughs> so give me speed for... Uh, to see who of the two of you goes first. Uh, and then after that... It's got it's got a hard set speed of eight, so if you get farther than that, you can go first. Um, could I actually? Oh yeah, wait. Could I use my bull strength? Yes, but you need to see where you're going in the order first. True. Five. <laughs> it's going to go first. Uh, and what's your AC? Um, five. All right. Let me give him a little roll. He got a two. He misses. He scrapes by one of your horns, chipping it. It is now your turn to counteract, and what would you like to do? Uh, I would just like to... I guess one shot him. I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah, what? how are you gonna do that? I'm gonna punch him as hard as I can. All right, punch or, or do you have any abilities that you want to use? Well, I'm gonna use bull strength to. Um... Oh, no, that's a check. Never mind. Yeah. That's not a combat ability. I wish. Uh, you do you remember your hard hitter, uh, and if you have any tackles or anything. Just make, read over your bull attacks, because some of them are fucking you know what? disgusting. I'm goring this robot. Okay. Your horns is a method attack. Uh, 2d8 plus power. Give me a control check to use. Uh, and... Or stamina. So what's your control check? I don't know if you heard me. Oh, I didn't. Uh, that hits. 2d8 plus power. I only have Does 10 health. Does hard hitter apply to this? Yes! Hard hitter applies to everything while you're using it. Wow. Okay. So it's got 10 health. So, oh, sorry. So what? 3d8? 3d8 plus your power. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve total? Damn, really? You had the potential to be doing like 24. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, describe how you annihilate this thing. Go ahead. You can do whatever you'd like. So, uh, I, like, tilt my head so it, you know, like, barely misses punching me. Uh-huh. And then I'm gonna swing back around uh, and use my horn to, like, flip it and throw it to the side. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, you fucking annihilate this thing. Uh, it shatters, raining into, like, thousands of pieces as it hits the ground. Uh, and as you're going by, like, Tenya Ida is, is still trying to dodge out of the way of something, and you regain your place at third. Uh, you can look up to see Bakugo Kotsuki and Todoroki... Uh, are, like, maneuvering in their own ways. Todoroki literally freezing one of the giant robots as he passes by underneath it, and Katsuki Bakugo uh, launching himself with explosions to reach the top of them. That's not very cool. <laughs> uh, Alright. Homura. Am I at the top of the robot? Uh, you're gonna be if you succeed some checks. Uh, are you 
climbing it? Like, what do you? What's your method of climbing it? Sort of like grappling, grapple hooking myself, like one in each hand, and then kind of running up the side as I retract the chains. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're like mountain climbing this thing. Yeah. All right, give me a control check, and if you can get at least a 12, you can get to the top of this robot. Anything less, and you're going to be climbing it. Oh my fucking god. Uh, you, <laughs> through like leaps and bounds, find yourself at the top of this robot. Uh, and from there, you can hear the sounds of like wing beats behind you. Um, coming up close to you at, what, like the 25th place, uh, you see Sukara, like with tiny little bee wings reaching the top of it. He's evidently, like, super exhausted and <laughs> panting, like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> um, and he's like, oh, hey, oh, hey, how do you do, how you doing, homie? I'm doing. Yeah, same. You taking a break or you, you going? I'm still... Oh, just got here. Uh, okay, I'll ca I'll catch up with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna rest here. <laughs> and he like lays down on the top of it. Um, a massive and can you give me a reaction check? Massive hand comes writhing over over top. Uh, clearly is about to smack itself on the head. What would you like to do? Nine. Nine? Ooh, over, uh, uh, the hand comes slapping I down. Die. No, you just barely make it out. You don't get to go any farther. Um, Sukara dies. She, well, you launch yourself off, uh, and, like, rappel down from the back of its neck, uh, and you get back into the running. Same 23rd place, uh, and then all of a sudden you hear, uh, and, uh, with that, like it goes silent for a moment, uh, and then you hear, dong, dong, as uh, the open part of the back, the back of the palm, uh, is pushed out, and you can see there is a black and white carapace with a beetle horn poking out the top, uh, as Sukara like wrenches himself out of this thing, like, uh, and then like tumbles down. Um, he's got a. Oh my god. Ironclad beetle arm, and he's got Herx horn along with uh, bee wings, and he is just. Oh, he's carrying himself as hard as he can, and underneath him, you can just see Rory uh, running by, uh, and she grabs hold of one of the legs and removes some of the. Uh, like, the iron that holds the legs up or at least one of the legs, is sucked off of the machine and put onto her body. Uh, she's covered in a green armor, uh, and the giant machine begins to, like, falter. Uh... <laughs> Dude, look at this really shit bot in the chat of our stream. Hi! I want to offer promotion of your channel. Viewers, followers, views, chat, bots. The price is fall... Wait, what? The price is lower than any competitor, and the quality... <laughs> Bot spotted. Alec, you want to take care of that? Yeah, I can. Hold on. Thank Where you. is it? It's in the Twitch chat. It happened. <laughs> oh. Uh, but... Bot be gone. Bot, <laughs> Bot be, be gone. gone. Bot be gone. Uh, Sakara, Rory, uh, coming up right behind you. You see, actually, Homura, that Hitori has, like, made ways and leaps and bounds in front of you. And he stands closer to, like, 17th place. Um... All right, so now we have an idea. So Homura, 23rd place. Ichiro, 3rd third, third place. Uh, and Kosuke, closer to 15th. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess we'll go now in order of how we've been going. So Kosuke, Ichiro, then Homura. Kosuke, it's gonna get a little harder from here on out now that you've made it past. Uh, have you you've made it past the robots? Yes. Uh, I think so. I believe. Oh no, sorry, you haven't you haven't run by the oh. one, two, and threes. Oh yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so as you begin passing by, you see a scorpion-like, I believe it's supposed to be, 
It's a very weird, long-necked, scorpion-esque uh, robot with the numbers 2 on the front plates of the two front limbs that are built to look like shields. Uh, and as you're coming up on it, it uh, begins charging at you, making a leap towards you. Uh, so give me a speed check. This thing has a speed of 7. I got an 8. <laughs> it's <laughs> coming at you fast, but you're be you're, you're prepared. Uh, what would you like to do to this thing as a first retaliation? Alright, sorry. Uh, I am going to... I'd say, like, burst of cold flame to the side. Uh -huh. And uh, I want to say I, uh, I stick its hand to the ground a little bit. Okay. Give me it. Control. Oh, someone said oh, they want that playing. Uh, that's something that I can do. Uh, Kosuke, you get immediately jumped in the first. <laughs> I got an 11 for control. Uh, you got an 11? Yep. <laughs> Go ahead and describe how you freeze this thing straight to the ground. Uh... I was just thinking, like, as soon as the hand is coming down, and Kosuke jumps out of the way, the, like, cold fire that he uses to move out of the way, uh, also freezes Axe. its hand to the ground. Okay, and then you're using a devouring chill, what are you, what are you dropping on him? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, are you, are you using an attack? Or are you just, like, like, blowing out straight cold fire? Oh, yeah, just pure cold fire. Okay. No, no specific uh, attack. Give me, give me your damage for a devouring chill. I just have to see okay. if he freezes his arm to the ground or just freezes the arm solid. A six. Six. <laughs> uh, the thing's arm is completely covered in ice, and while Kosuke thinks he does have, uh, like some free movement now that it's stuck you hear the sound of creaking iron as it turns its body uh and it you hear like a loud smack like <laughs> uh, and then it like whips you to the side um it deals uh three points of damage um, oh i uh oh I, I did the wrong damage yeah what did, I, I was gonna I, say I, six, I, guess the, I, I, I guess i had it uh yeah, I had it as 2d4 still. No, you, you changed, have... You changed yeah. it to 1d8. I was gonna say, it's... And then plus control. Yeah. Let's see your, let's see your okay, actual so damage. I, so I actually got 10. Alright. Uh, this time it's... Uh, not completely frozen to the floor, but it doesn't have free movement uh, as of yet. Um, it's going to take the cold fire damage now that it's its turn, which is a d6 plus 2. Uh, and he is immediately, like, engulfed and frozen in place as you carry on by. Uh, you've lost a little time scrapping with this thing, but nobody's, like, really persistently got ahead of you. Your place is still around the 13th to 17th place as you are lined up with a few others. You actually start recognizing some people, uh, including, like, from your class at the very least. Uh, where is he? Uh, oh my god. I mean, when I lose my place? Uh... Oh, it's just Suyoshi. <laughs> so yeah, she is running next to you. Uh, as you like, as you look over from freezing the robot to the ground, five identical but still slightly different Suyoshis all like pile onto a number one uh, and like rip it to shreds, um, striking its vital points, cracking its lenses, uh, and bringing it to the ground as they reform to one. And he run running by you with like a like a jog keeping pace. He's like, oh hey Kosuke. No, hey. Mauling. Uh. All right. Um, Ichiro. We are getting to the second section. Uh, 
you guys have arrived at... I need to remember what they call it. It has an actual name. Uh... The Pit. It's. I think it... It might actually be called The Pit. But I feel like really? it actually... Uh, no, I, I, it has some funny fucking name. Uh... <laughs> um, but I do need to get the description for this thing up. I didn't know how far you guys would get. We're running on, uh, close to time. Where did it go? Uh, running. Oh, it's called The Fall. The Fall. But Thank much you. Much scarier. Uh, as you approach it, Ichiro, uh, you, as well as Katsuki Bakugo, uh, Shoto Todoroki, Tenya Ida, and a few others, like Asui Tsuyu, who's now joined into the top uh, ten. Uh, notice it's a giant hole. Uh, just a, like, m missing ground with very few pillars of stone. Uh, wires interconnecting all different sorts, but it's evident that you're not going to be able to rush through this. This is going to take some time uh, and careful movement. You can see... At least 150 feet down, there is, like, a, a giant black cotton, like, uh, like, bedding. Ones that you maybe see in gymnastics, like, routines and other things that would keep you safe. If you fall, you will not die. But if you fall, you're very evidently, unless you have a flying quirk, going to have, a tr like, a hard time getting back into the way. Or into the race. Uh... So yes, Katsuki Bakugo, taking his time, uh, makes leaps and bounds and passes Todoroki for first. Um, Tsuyu coming in for a close third, uh, and until you make a movement, uh, leaving you behind now in fifth. This is not Ichiro's strong suit, I believe. No, so you're telling me I have to jump over a pit? You have to jump over... To several different pillars in a massive pit that are all either interconnected by rope or by nothing at all. These are jumps of 15 feet or more. These are not baby jumps either. Okay. Um, so, I feel like I'm not picturing <laughs> this correctly, but tell me if I am. Do you want a picture of it? Uh, yeah, if you have. Uh, well, yes, considering was this was- show. it was in the anime, I do have- Don't watch the shows! <laughs> yes, you do! Yeah, I really did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let me get a photo for you. This is- oh, this is way worse than I described it. Here, I will- I will post this, uh, for people in game discussion. Uh, but also I will DM this to you right now. Uh, so there is massive pillars leading over this giant pit, uh, all, again, interconnected by wires, now of varying sizes and shapes, spanning from 15 feet circumference to 5 feet circumference to, like, 30 feet circumference. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to leap between them. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. All right, so give me an acro... If you want to truly leap from them... Uh, you can give me an acrobatics check with a m minimum of 15, or you fall. So, I would like to say before <laughs> I start going, I recognize that I'm not the most acrobatic person. <laughs> um, so, I'd like to try and, like, acceptably sacrifice a bit of speed to make sure that I'm not falling in a pit. Yeah. Um, to try so and like, if I go slower, does that roll become easier? No, because you're now losing momentum to jump. The acrobatics is managing the speed uh, and the jump and the landing portion. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. I can't get a 15. <laughs> I have 2D6. What? I have a 2d6 per... Okay, so you physically cannot make this jump. No, I guess not. <laughs> that, fair enough. Uh, you can try... You can give me a... A survival or acrobatics to climb the rope, which is significantly easier. You only need an 8. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Succeeding far beyond what you're capable of is not going to happen. 
So doing what you can is probably the only option. But if you succeed very well on climbing the rope, you can at least climb it a little faster than everyone. Um, you could also try and tightrope it. I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not that careful. All right. Um, yeah, give me you give me that check while we check in with Homura. Um, Homura, you pass by uh, landing on the ground, and you are immediately met uh, with a set of two number one robots that are coming at you. Uh, you are very lucky, however, uh, that you find yourself in the protection of a fellow friend. Uh, you see Elias jumps out uh, at your side, and as they come into attack, uh, he freezes one in front uh, and asks if you can get the other one, or at least, like, just throw it or something. Oh, like a one-pointer? Yeah. Yeah, I can throw him. You want to give me a strength check? Or no, you have abilities yes, if you want to use your control. I believe you have stuff that you can use that is specifically built for this. For a robot? Not for a robot, but I mean like for throwing things. How, yeah, how do you want to get rid Chain of this throw? thing? Can you give me a, a speed check first? Yeah. Only need a five. I got a four. <laughs> uh, this thing reels back. Uh, and let me check. What's your AC? Five. Oh my god, it hit. No. Uh, it hits you for two damage. Uh, and sends okay. you flying a little bit back. Uh, but now you have the the floor is yours. <laughs> and the Wilhelm scream. She gets hit. You just hear like dunk. I'm throwing it. School. All right, go for it. Uh, which way are you throwing him? Behind me. <laughs> All right. Uh, you see this robot go flying behind you, uh, and as it's in the air, you see. Uh, where is it? Um, an arrow fly out, uh, and explode in the air. This thing shatters into pieces and rains down below. Um, alright. Uh, yeah, you're able to keep going. Uh, Kosuke... Or no, yeah, you did pretty good, actually. I don't know, I guess... Yeah, you were pushed back a little bit, and you're essentially in the same place, if not a little bit higher, hitting, like, what I had said. Like, what were you before? Place-wise? Me? Yeah. Like, 25? All right. Maybe? Yeah, you, yeah. you've bumped yeah, I think, up. I think, I think you said I was, like, like 13 to 17 yeah. after the robots, so... 13th, and then Homer uh, is in the 25th, but has moved up to 23rd, as some people are still battling their robots. Uh, Elias, like, kind of grabbing you by the hand and pulling you forward uh, as the other robot unfreezes. I like uh, this guy. Alright. Uh, Kosuke? Yeah, Kosuke. Um, you've made it past, uh, and you've now come up seeing Ichiro, who has not given me his... His athletics or acrobatics yet? Sorry, uh, he's waiting. It's uh, okay. Seven. <laughs> he's like both arm. He's climbing like a koala sloth almost, where he's got both arms and he's inchworming his way across the first hurdle. It's a bit uh, silly. Yeah. What would you like to do? I would like to fly. All right. You want to give me uh, three more stamina to get your flight going? Yes. All right. You should watch this ghost game begins flying over top. Uh, as soon as you get over to, like, uh, over, flying over the first few hurdles, everyone around you, it, it's like getting a mushroom in Mario Kart while you're, like, all crammed together. You just go fucking flying ahead. Kosuke has taken first place. Uh, you want to give me a control check to see how far you've gone? Uh, 
11. Uh, you're not, like, way ahead, and I say that because as yeah. soon as you get far enough, you hear, YOU LOSER! Uh, along with, like, <laughs> uh, two gigantic explosions launch a blonde-haired boy, like, flying up behind you. He's not fast enough to catch up to you, uh, but you guys are getting, like, close to neck and neck. Uh, this case shows fear. <laughs> <laughs> he can smell it. Uh, Ichiro. It is now your turn. You you get to the other side of the first hurdle. You you've not really gone a lot farther. In fact, you're you're a little bit back into eighth place. Uh, some of the the coming ones are, are a lot closer. There's two somewhat smaller platforms that are within. I'd say a difficulty of ten to twelve distance, uh, and then. The other larger platform, which is way farther out, uh, is a another acrobatics check, uh, climbing a rope. I'll go for the closer one. All right. Uh, do you want to jump it or do you want to climb it? Climb. All right. Give me acrobatics. Seven again. Seven. All right. Ooh, it's it's tough. You you're just. You know that this is going to be one of those scenarios where, you know what, I'm not that great at this. I'll pick it back up when I get off this section. Yeah. Uh, Homura, it is your turn. You finally arrive, seeing Kosuke flying ahead. Uh, Ryunosuke and Elias join you at the beginning of the rope section, uh, and both of them seem to be waiting to see what the others will do. Uh, Ryunosuke begins like toiling through all of his games. Um, and Elias begins, uh, like, preparing himself. He starts tying his shoes a little weird. Um, and then you just see him start to walk. He freezes each individual shoe as he steps down and just starts air walking. Uh, moving on to, like, an air run. Seems like the move is to just, like, swing to each pillar. Yeah, I mean, like... You could fucking Spider-Man this. Uh, where you, like, as long as... You're not out if you hit the ground of the... Or, I guess, the, the foam underneath. Um, but it's just a very far way down. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you watch as you're getting ready to do this. As Amara, like, still running, runs out uh, into the, like, middle of the air. As if there's still platform. Looks down and is just, like... Uh, as her eyes are like, Aah! and she runs back <laughs> onto the platforms to, to the beginning. Um, oh yeah, she hits the, she, she hits the, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, how, do you want to, do you want to give me some controls to try and repel and swing? Mm -hmm. It's going to be at very least. And if you fail, it's gonna it's gonna really throw you back. Fourteen. Fourteen is a fucking success. Uh, yeah, you, I was say, if if you get down in the pit, you can uh, swing through it like Attack on Titan. Yeah. Uh, so Homura, true. Describe to me how you pull yourself uh, from twenty like third place uh, all the way up to ninth. I'm like shooting out a chain to whichever pillar is like closest to me. Mm -hmm. and sort of. I'd like to say I pull myself there, but also like push mm. my, myself forwards with another chain from like my other arm. So I'm being like pulled in a direction and being like propelled in that direction at the same okay. time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, you throw yourself, you finally like launch up and, and collide, grabbing onto a platform. You can see that Kosuke, while like still fair ways ahead of you, uh, is about halfway across the like the whole set of uh, small like platforms, while Bakugo Katsuki is close behind. Todoroki Shoto has begun freezing um, bridges from certain ones in the in near center uh, to others to make sure that he doesn't fall behind. Um, you can see Asui Suyu is also a very close, uh, like, fifth. 
in front of you, it is it is hard to determine who's where. Um, but you guys know, in between Kosuke and Homura is Todoroki Shoto, Katsuki Bakugo, uh, Tenya Ida, Asui Tsuyu. Um, there's some other contenders. You can see, uh, obviously, Elias has come up. He's not in front, uh, uh, but he's getting closer. Um, Tsuyoshi Ichigo, obviously, has jumped in and gotten his ways in. Uh, and then from another class, you can't really tell where they're from. Um, a girl with, like, vines for hair, who you believe you've met before, is, like, basically dock awking her way across. Um, and, yeah, it, it is a flurry fight for first um, as Kosuke carries himself to, to keep pace. Uh, we are now at... Kosuke? I believe. Yeah. Alright, Kosuke. You're flying, and it's getting a little... Uh, you're, you're a fair ways ahead. Do you want to just keep boosting forward? Uh, yeah, I think that's my best bet. This is just like a... You feel... It's a non-obstacle for me. <laughs> you say that as... You feel the explosions getting closer and closer, and finally... Uh, a, f a figure from behind you goes up. You see his hand reaching out, pointing towards you. The only thing you've seen come out of this man's hands are explosions. Uh, do you want to go ahead and give me a reaction check? Uh, reaction plus two. Okay. Uh, 13. 13. Both instinctually, uh, hands point down, and you immediately boost, uh, as a large shockwave explosion, uh, is shot out towards you. The force of it would have pushed you off balance and more than likely sent you towards the ground, uh, but you were able to avoid it, um, keeping ahead Are you of Kasuke. Kill me? Just trying to knock you down! Uh, and he immediately hands back uh starts launching forward trying to get ahead of you but you're able to keep forward uh yeah you guys are neck and neck uh there's there's a dodging of different explosions while uh finally he reaches up a little too close uh and you set off a little flick of cold fire uh and the explosion shoots out from his hand is hit with the cold fire uh, and his hand immediately becomes covered in, like, a, a frost. Um, and he stops being able to shoot out, uh, explosions, as there's no sweat coming out of his hand. Uh, with that, he's still able to keep himself in air with his large explosions, but it's clearly becoming more strenuous, and he opts to land down on one of the platforms below, uh, knocking him, not out of second place, uh, but farther back from you than he had anticipated nor hoped. Uh, and from it, he sounds furious. But the sounds of him screaming are muffled as he descends to the ground. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm like, uh, I mean, he can probably warm himself up pretty uh, fast. Yeah, so I gotta, it's, I gotta it's <laughs> almost immediately, like, you can hear the sound of these explosions from his other hand, uh, like, heating up and, like, melting, but not fast enough. Uh, it would not hold him for much long. Or much longer than like a few seconds. Facts. <laughs> uh, so since you're in first, there's no getting farther or going faster. It's just maintaining your spot. Yeah. Uh, all right, Ichiro. <laughs> Up ahead of you, just one jump away, is a set of ice bridges that lead from platform to platform. Another closer one with an actual rope. There's, there is one platform leading forward that is on a rope, but it is much farther. And there is one closer one, a platform, that has bridges on it if you were to make it. What would you like to do? Would you like to jump to the shorter away, no roped platform? Or climb to the larger roped platform? I'm going to go for the larger one. 
You're not even going to try and jump to the bridges? No. All right. Give me an athletics check. Sixteen. All right, yeah. Uh, you kind of like monkey swing this one, uh, where you have gotten the hang of like the motions of climbing, uh, and you're able to very quickly bring yourself over to this one. Uh, and now you only have a short few stops. You've taken your t uh, place back to seventh. Uh, and Homera. I'd be swinging. You're just swinging? You want to give me some control checks? You got to give me a control check and get over 10, or you're going to fall behind. 13. 13. And you're able to pull yourself up to 8th. Uh, you oh, see, yeah. you can see you swung up onto a platform, and right on it is Ichiro. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Homer. <laughs> it's so menacing for, like, the nonchalant. Yeah, is this Godzilla? <laughs> uh, all right. Um, yeah, Homura, Ichiro. It's kind of up to you guys to get farther, but uh, it's Kosuke's turn now. Kosuke, you can see uh, a as you're like coming down to land at the end of uh, the massive platforms, just out of sheer tiredness. Uh, there's no way that you could keep flying for this entire yeah. course. Uh, and as you land, you can see small ice spikes coming out from the ground towards you. Uh, do you want to give me a reaction check? Sure thing. All right. Uh, oh, 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 that dice is virtually flipping so slowly. <laughs> uh. Fourteen. Fourteen? Yes, that's with my plus two. It is not enough. <laughs> Damn! Uh, this massive wall of ice comes shooting out, and, like, your waist below is now stuck inside an ice spike. It didn't, like, pierce you or anything. It just froze around you. Uh, and you are now in second place as Shoto Todoroki walks past you. Uh, and he, as he's going by, he just gives you, like, an on your left, uh, and, r like, continues going. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I just start shooting fire at this <laughs> bicycle. Uh, so your hands, uh, are frozen at your side. Oh, okay, okay. You're kind of, yeah, you're kind of, like, waist up, stuck in ice. So... Go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> like, do you want to just? Uh, I, I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't think cold fire would do much. I. I can try. All right. Do you? What do you? What do you use? I guess to to attack this ice. Attack this ice. Uh, like, what attacks do you want to use? Yeah, sorry. I'm just it's okay. Thinking. Yeah, no, take, uh, your, take your time. Uh, I guess I'll ju it'll just be like a devouring chill from inside. All right. Uh, as Todoroki gets just beyond the ice pillar that he's stuck you in, he hears uh, the sound of, like, intense cracking coming from inside. Uh, I don't know. Where is it? Um... And turns around to just hear, like, as a massive explosion comes in, like, shoots out. Uh, the ice from the inside has begun to, like, clearly disintegrate. Uh, like, the fire burns it away like paper, but as it's going, and it collects and connects to, like, the air, like, gets out of the frozen pillar, uh, the cold fire from inside just begins ripping this thing apart and shatters it. Ice pieces go everywhere, uh, and you are immediately back behind him in second place. Uh, and that is where we're going to finish up today. Um, because we have run out of time. 
uh and yeah <laughs> we are we are headlong in this thing uh right now we have finished with shoto todoroki in first place uh kosuke oijiro in second followed by a few fellow 1c and 1b members or 1a members uh ichiro kobanai in seventh and homura yoshino in eighth place uh and we will see you guys I guess next week. Thank you guys so much for for coming to our first volume one stream. Uh, and volume two. Volume two. Uh, <laughs> it's literally in front of me too. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and yeah. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't have much else to say, other than we have been my hero class one C. We're gonna be posting on Perihelion Creative along with our other. Uh, tabletop games like our Demon Slayer and One Piece 1 that will be coming soon. Uh, and until next week, we hope you guys have a wonderful night. Uh, do you guys want to say anything before I cut you off? I should, I should also introduce you guys to those who don't know. is Alex, Alec, and Shay, otherwise known as Ichiro, Kosuke, and Homura, whose information, like links to social media, can be found below or in our Discord. Uh, now do you guys want to say anything before I cut you off? First time. I'm so oh, in purple.